guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a makeup haul for you guys and yeah I'm just going to share what I bought basically literally because I've been revising I literally buy a little thing every time I take a break because there's so much temptation on Instagram and then I want to go buy it and then I also went Oxford Street the other day so yeah so let's just jump straight into this video so the first thing that I got is the OPV matte liquid lipstick this is what it looks like and this is in the shade divine it's what i'm wearing today and i do have to say like i literally just put this on dried super quick and it's super smooth it's not cracking and it's just super comfortable to wear like i actually don't feel it on my lips right now so definitely really impressed with this i might get some more colors but i had to get this brown because it's the nice brown i would say so so when i went to oxford street i did grab two things from top shop in terms of like their makeup first thing that i actually reached for was their highlighter i literally saw it from far away and ran to it but this is what it looks like it comes in this like packaging it comes like with little stars on it and this is what it looks like come on that is so pretty like seriously let me swatch it for you guys It gives that nice sheen. This one's in the shade Horizon. I also grabbed like a bronzer. By the way, I love their packaging. Their packaging feels super sturdy. And um, this bronzer's in the shade Salute. And seriously, it looks so nice. That's what it looks like. It's got like the Topshop logo on it. And the packaging is super, super sturdy. And look at that. It feels very luxurious, which I really like. I love when packagings feel really nice. Um, and then this is like a quick swatch next to the highlighter. But I feel like it's that right amount of darkness on my skin. There was a really darker one, which is really good for like deep, deep skin tones. I did grab a few things from Primark in Oxford Street. And the first thing I picked up was the PS Pro longwear mineralized mineralized foundation the thing that i was mostly shocked about about is that they have my color well i think it's a bit dark but i still wanted to try it out and see if it was good it's only five pounds i when i saw this from far away i was like this has to be my color and i was so shocked to see a color like this in foundation in primark so that's why i had to pick it up i haven't tried it yet but once i have i will definitely make a review video for you guys can you guys hear that motorbike in the background there's literally a guy outside just revving his bike like what do you think that's cool no it's not it's just actually plain annoying so the next thing i got from primark is a lip liner this one i've been trying to get like for ages it's in the shade toffee okay so this one i've been wanting for so long it's like such a nice brown that's why i really wanted it um it's one pound i bought it last time it literally went i think it got lost in the bag or it fell out somewhere but i couldn't find it once i got home so i bought another one and then i bought this blusher which looks like this. I've been obsessed with blusher lately and isn't that so nice? Looks, It's like a nice peachy colour. This is in the shade Muscovado. Muscovado. I believe this is the same one that um, Miss Beauty Attic has, Selena. Um, I saw this on her Snapchat or Insta story and literally I wanted it straight away. I've been on the hunt for it. Like It's so pretty. I love it so much. I haven't tried it but I've touched it and I know that I'll really like it. And that was only 150 So seriously, Primark is definitely stepping up their game in their makeup range, I feel like. The next thing I got is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I got the shade Tan. Um... I just really wanted this for so long because I love the foundation and today I'm actually wearing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this concealer and I pretty like it, I love it, like I love the finish of the foundation and the concealer together. It's so good, you'll probably see me use it in future tutorials but I really really am happy that I have this. And this was this was £20, I got it from Debenhams in Oxford Street, um, it was really easy for me to find a colour because I could swatch them and this was the perfect one. The next thing that I have here is a MUA bronzer. I got this from Superdrug, from my local Superdrug. And this was, I believe, like £3 or something. It's mostly the colour that really attracted me, so that's why I got it. And here's a little swatch. I mean, I'm so bad at swatches, what the hell? But yeah, you can see like there's colour there. I feel like bronzers are so hard to swatch because you don't want them to be too dark. Like it has to be the right amount of dark brown for your skin. I also bought this new Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. It comes like this. This I believe is new. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'll definitely let you know. But it looks so nice. I'm excited to use this as a blush and this as a highlight. 
Let's swatch it, shall we? We just ruined it, but that's okay. No, that I am, I am gonna love that look. Oh my god, and it's not even. Actually, wait, it is like, it's nice, but it's very. It looks. It looks very powdery. I have to use it on my face to really see what I think about it, but I just love all the colours in there. It looks so nice. I also picked up two eyeshadows from NYX. They look like this. I grabbed a bright kind of true green and then a mustardy yellow. The mustardy yellow is called Butterscotch Caramel and then the green is Kush. Kush Kush. But I definitely want to create cool looks with this, so... Yeah, it's going to get go into my little Z palette that I have and I'm trying to fill up. Also, like, I've literally been wanting these two for so long. And it's the NYX uh, liquid liners. I got a black one, the matte one, and a white one. I have been wanting this. I saw Nikki Tutorials use this and I really wanted it so bad. So I cannot wait to try these out. So, yeah. I also grabbed um, an LA Girl lip liner from Beauty Bay. It's literally like 250 super pigmented super creamy i know i'm gonna love this final thing is i have l i needed this on B on amazon it was like 11 pounds and it's normally not that cheap and i had three pounds promotion code for my amazon account so i got it for like eight pounds so i just had to pick one up my my black one that i have i've literally had it for two years i think i bought it a year after i started youtube so it's been so long i don't know i do take good care of it that's why it's been there for so long but it's starting to get holes and I don't want to know what's in the centre of it even though I try to push the soap in the centre but I just can't wait to use this one because I haven't tried the pink one, it's the original one and then the final thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this I got some cotton fabric waxing strips there's a hundred in here and I bought it for like 4 50 on Amazon came next day for free Amazon Prime obviously if you guys don't follow me on snapchat I basically showed how I kind of made sugar wax for the first time and it was perfect like it took the hair off I, I waxed my armpits with it I waxed my arms and basically what I needed is this um, and I like the cotton ones because I can wash the sugar off and reuse them for a few times and then throw them away but so I will definitely be making a sugar waxing video for you guys cannot wait but I will probably make it after my exams because when I do like DIY videos it takes more time to do them so so anyways guys that's it for this beauty haul I hope you enjoyed it I'm really sorry if I went really quick I basically really need to go revise so I thought it would be nice to share what I bought thanks so much for watching this video and being so patient and understanding with me and um, I've received all your messages on snapchat and I see all of them anyways I love you guys and make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one which will be in quite a while. Anyways, bye guys.